being crowned Miss Uganda and what was it like the moment your name was read as uh, you know the winner of this pageant? Right. Um, this is something that I'm going to go about to have a vision board and on my vision board was one of those things, Miss Uganda, winning Miss Uganda. Yeah. And obviously the times where it's discouragement and you're not going to win this. But I kept on looking back at my vision board and I'm like, I know God listens to my prayers. And I keep saying, I feel like this is a dream God put on my heart because it's something that consistently kept coming back every year, every year. You need to do this, you actually need to do this. And I'm a believer in purpose. You know, God doesn't just put you in a place for nothing. There's a reason for that. And yes, yeah, so I just kept on pushing and my parents were the biggest encouragement. My family, I remember the finale was on Saturday yeah. and on Friday that was the end of voting. So before that, I was at the top of the chart. Yeah. I was literally, so when you have the highest scores, you win Miss Popularity. Mm -hmm. But some people think when you're Miss Popularity, you're definitely going to be Miss Uganda. But that's different. Yeah, and on Friday, uh, the person that was right behind me somehow beat me at it. Yeah, so I came in second. And I remember being so devastated. I was so hard. Imagine crying your eyes out the day before the finale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I had a lot of people around me encouraging me. I remember even Miss J pulled me aside and said, Come on, you have to get your head in the game. Like, this is not the time to lose focus. Uh, but I kept going. And then another thing is, you know, they judge us literally from day one. Like, from the day you step in, you're being judged up to the very last day. Yeah, so you have to do your best to keep, you know, in the right places, the right time, the right people. Miss Natasha, talking about the journey through the boot camp and then you know, the finale, mm -hmm. 